We have unfinished business with the SAX. And it's time to show the SAX just how powerful we've become. Things are getting even more crazy around here in Metroid Fusion. Welcome back. I do believe it is time to move forward. And I know exactly where to go. Up there. Hey, get out of the way. Dang kids, always getting in the way. Bombs away. Actually, no. <laughs> well, that was easy. Unfortunately, this isn't going to be so easy. Oh boy. I think you can only attack them when they're shooting. Or not. Does anything work against them? Oh uh, crap. Take this. Dang it. Dagnab it. Okay, now it works. Okay, I guess I just didn't charge it enough. How... How does it hurt them? It's like it... You can't decide. Oh, I, I remember now. It was a glitch. I forgot. There was a, there's a glitch in the game. The thing is, it determines if you are facing the same direction. You're supposed to be hitting at his back, but if you turn around, it still counts as a hit. Which is funny. There's not actually a hitbox on its back. It just determines which way Samus is facing in proportion to the pirate. Because normally they'd be facing the same direction, which would make it not happen. Take this. Watch this. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? Unfortunately, that doesn't get me forward, it's just for health reasons. This just gets me through a little easier. It almost looks like the entrance to Mother Brain Slayer, doesn't it? Of course, this is a different enemy. It's Ridley again. Why did they replicate his dried form just to just to be a just to be a boy? Did that next parasite wait all the way there just to be funny? That screaming is very annoying, isn't it? I hear this is a very hard boss to go if you're doing a one percent run. In fact, you can already tell. You can already see that. If I was doing a 1% run, I would have died already. Take this! Take this! Take that! You're, you're better off just letting it grab you. Almost. Uh-oh. Did you just die already, Ridley? There you go! Button. Get the timing right. There you go. You're not gonna hit me again. I can declare it. You're not gonna hit me once. And I will make sure that I live up to that. All I have to do is hit you once more and you're dead. That's right, you're already dead. And this is where the game goes even more full octane into action. Because I know the plasma beam is where Samus had a chance. This is basically where nothing else has a chance. Check that out. I had a chance, I had a fighting chance against the X-Parasite with the plasma rifle, with plasma beam. I'm gonna say plasma rifle, because I just played Doom. But anyway. With the plasma beam, you stand a chance. With the screw attack, you're basically a dominating force. 
that the X Parasites can't hope to compete against. It's amazing, isn't it? I'm just gonna get the hell out of here. I don't care about facing those golden pirates again, although I could probably easily destroy them if I wanted to. I just don't feel like wasting my time. I think I've proven my point just by killing the regular ones. Okay, if I remember correctly, yep. Where the crevice is, where it changes texture, that's where you go. There you go. Nothing can stop Samus now. No barrier can keep her away. No enemy is too great. In fact, we're nearing the end. It's a, kind of a shame, that. If I remember correctly, this is near the e end of the game because, I mean, at this point, what else is going to hurt you, right? What else is even going to be a threat to you? There you go. The only thing that could possibly be a threat to her is the bosses. There you go. Well, what do you know? Look at that. You know, on my way back up. That's a larva Metroid shell. Keep that in mind, folks. I'm pretty sure you recognize that from previous games. That's gonna come. That's gonna come into play very soon. In case it wasn't already obvious what's gonna happen. Yeah, you didn't really think all the Metroids were destroyed in that explosion, did you? We have to remind people exactly why the Metroids were exterminated to begin with. Which unleashed this. Bombs away! Oh. You just go in there. That's all you gotta do. Fun stuff. It's basically on the way. You just have to take a slight detour. Oh, is that another shell? Very troubling, isn't it? <laughs> you guys are pathetic. I don't even need the screw attack. All I gotta do is use the plasma beam to kill you. There's gotta be something in here. Told ya. Oh, is this how you get... Oh, never mind. I was, I was about to say, uh... It could be one of those areas where you, you just go through to quickly get to another sector. Because those do exist, believe it or not. Take that, you freak. You're no match for me anymore. Weapons and energy fully restored. And now it's time for me to save. Because you never know what's going to happen. Actually, I'm far more concerned at this point about the game crashing than me actually dying. Samus, we're done here. Leave the rest of the Federation. We should be preparing to evacuate the station. Are you joking? Do you think do they know how dangerous the X are? How quickly they reproduce? The Federation has taken an interest in the X and SAX. They believe this life form has endless potential applications. For instance, for war and for pleasure. It it looks like you, Samus. What did you think they were gonna use it for? This is ridiculous! The X are heartless abominations! What potential could they have? It is not necessary that you understand such matters. They look like you, Samus, that's all you have to know. Some people up ahead have some very weird tastes. All you have to know is, the Federation is coming now. You should just leave quietly. This is madness, they won't stand a chance here. This station will devour them. What could be worth the risk? Capturing the SAX, of course. Are you serious? Do they really think they can succeed? It will certainly be difficult. They don't expect your help. They know you would try to destroy the SAX. That's why they stopped sending you support data. The plasma beam modification was ready some time ago, but they withheld it to keep you from engaging the SAX. Yet somehow you restored that function on your own. They also tried to withhold the diffusion missile upgrade because they didn't want you to grow too powerful, even though it was in the data room ready for you to download the second you got to it, which really doesn't make any sense if you think about it, but let's not talk about plot holes right now because we're breaking the fourth wall even more than we already are. 
But they had already sent it. Oh, okay. <laughs> and you tracked it down. Bravo, Samus. They must cancel this mission! Open a channel to HQ! I won't let this happen! They are already on their way. Fools! As soon as the Federation ships land, the X will overwhelm them and absorb their knowledge, the power of... Ab absorb the knowledge and power of their occupants. The X are just waiting for the hunt to begin, and then they'll spread across the universe. Galactic civilization will end. The X hunger for form, knowledge, and power. They mimic these perfectly, but they cannot copy the soul. They're single-minded, instinctively seeking to increase in number. They're a plague, and the Federation underestimates their threat. The X must not leave here. I must destroy them all before the Federation arrives. This station has a self-destruct mechanism. I must use it to destroy the X here, and on the planet. I must send them to Oblivion. Them, the station, and myself if I have to. Open the hatch! I'm sorry, Samus, but I'm afraid I can't do that. I'm sorry, I meant to say I have been ordered to confine you until the ships arrive. I'm sorry, Samus, I'm afraid I can't do that. Don't let them do this! Can't you see what will happen, Adam? Adam? Who is Adam? A friend of mine. And what would this friend advise you to do now? He would know that the only way to end this is to start the self-destruct cycle. He'd know how important it is. Did this Adam care for you? Would he sit in the safe command room and order you to die? <laughs> well, uh, in retrospect... <laughs> oh, never mind. He would understand that some must live and some must die. He knew what it that he knew what it meant. He made that sacrifice once. So, he chose life for you, I fair warrior, Samus Aaron. Your Adam gave his life so that you might keep yours. For the sake of the universe. How foolish. How dare you? How could you hope to understand, machine? You know that, deter that detonating the station in high orbit would not guarantee the complete extinction of the X-Parasites. Even though the station would be utterly destroyed, you would only succeed in removing the one obstacle to the galaxy's ruin, yourself. You would ignore this simple fact and choose death. When Adam decided who would live, he chose incorrectly. Ah! If you were to alter the station's orbit, then you might be able to include the planet in the vaporization field in the self-destruct destination. You would have to start the propulsion sequence now, before the Federation arrives. Samus, this is your last mission. Go to the operations room and adjust the station's orbit path to intercept SR-388. I see you are quite shocked by this news. Then return to your ship and escape. Move quickly and stay alive. That's an order. Any objections, lady? This is where the heroic music starts popping in. Isn't it just amazing? This is where it all comes together. So beautiful. In fact, I think I'm gonna shut up for a minute and just let the music play out. I don't need it. I already know what I must do. First, let's see what's behind door number three. Oh, that was that was useless, wasn't it? Funny how you can use the power bomb to essentially cheat. What the? Oh, I see. That's how you do it, I guess. something here. Nope, that's literally the only thing that opened up. There's some kind of path here, but I don't know what it is. Nope. I get the feeling this, this isn't working. 
I don't understand. Wait a minute. Now I get it. That other one was a red herring. Of course it was. Okay. Enough screwing around. It's time for the final mission. It's the final countdown! The final countdown! Which means one last save. For good measure, of course. But before I do, I'm gonna have to face an old nemesis for the last time. It's time we put an end to this, SAX. I never did get to get a chance to fight her ever since I got the plasma plasma beam. I keep saying plasma rifle, I keep wanting to say it, but I know it's wrong. You knew it was gonna happen eventually. We have unfinished business with the SAX, and it's time to show the SAX just how powerful we've become. That's what I thought. I don't think so. This is easy. Whoops. I misjudged which way she went. Screw attack. Hard to tell which way she's gonna screw attack. Oh well. It's still pretty easy. There you go. Oh, what's wrong? We're getting already, huh? You are one ugly mother freak. You are ugly. You're ugly on the inside and on the outside, SAX. Man, once you actually get down to it, SAX is a pretty easy fight. All you gotta do is know how to cheese her the right way. Granted, I, I still lost some level of health, but... I mean, at this point in the game, you should. You should have a lot of health left. Oh, well, you can actually screw attack you without damage. It's over, SAX. Give up. Never! Fine, be that way. So the SAX was basically one of the cold parasites? That's interesting. Propulsion sequence activated. Three minutes. Why does the voice say H8? Shouldn't it be 88? H8. Damn it. Another escape sequence. And this one has more significance. Let's get, let's get the hell out of here. Let's make like hockey stick, hockey sticks, and get the puck out of here, Scoob. Just making sure I'm going the right way. Sorry if that seems a little annoying to you. Obviously, you can't save because you're in the middle of running right now. Also, if you could save, you might be able to make the game unbeatable. And I'm pretty sure Nintendo wouldn't want you to do that to yourself. Can you imagine if someone was was enough of a douchebag that basically what they did? was wait until the timer hit five and then saved it. I mean, how douchey would that be, right? You know, if I was able, if I didn't screw up the speed boost, I could have uh, sped boost through that. That's a big shell, isn't it? It's the Omega Metroid. There's no way to actually damage it either. You can use every trick you want, but it's not, it's no good. Okay, you gotta, you gotta let it claw you. That's the only way to actually Two proceed with the fight. To you can try everything you want. Even screw attacking, the thing won't work. It's just like in Super Metroid. Except reverse, because the Metroid's trying to kill you and the other thing is saving you. Not wittingly, of course. Take that! Uh, whoops. Oh, yeah. Alright, that's how you do it. Okay, I, I remember what button yeah, allows me to shoot diagonally now. There you go. Take this! Yeah, when you get 
down to it, it's not really a hard fight. Not overly hard, anyway. I mean, that actually took me by surprise at how, how hard the Ridley fight was in Samus Returns, because this game isn't known for having... This game series isn't known for having the, the toughest boss fights in the world, with a few exceptions, like the Boost Guardian and the Spider Guardian. Mostly some of the bosses from Metroid Prime 2 and uh, the Omega Me Mega Pirate. Okay, there are hard bosses, but usually... Usually it's not as hard as Ridley was in Samus Returns, but... You know, that's neither here nor there. Still fun. That perfect military mind, the wisdom of Adam Malkovic, continued to serve even after death. Until today, I had no idea that the minds of leaders and scientists were frequently uploaded to computers. My incredible reunion with Adam may have saved the universe. But how will the beings of the universe view our resolve? I doubt they will understand what we did, the danger we barely averted. They will hold tribunals and investigations. They will hold us responsible. Adam understood this, and he spoke to me in my anger. Do not worry. One of them will understand. One of them must. I've reflected upon his words, and I see the wisdom in, it, in them. We are all bound by our experiences. They are the limits of our consciousness. But in the end, the human soul will ever reach for the truth. This is what Adam taught me. Just one detail still bothers me. The ship can only be started manually. Yet before I faced the Omega Metroid, the ship moved on its own, guided by someone's hands. Is it possible, Adam? Lady, what's troubling you? You wonder how I started the ship? Just think about it. They lent me a hand. Isn't that just precious? Those animals have come back to help her yet again. Beautiful stuff. Okay, that is Metroid Fusion. Hope you really enjoyed it. I remember playing this a long time ago, but it's only recently that I decided to get back into it. You know, due to Nintendo no longer copyright claiming videos, I figured it was the perfect opportunity to start really getting into the Metroid games that I had played a long time ago. And this one is definitely a good one. It's obviously not near my top, not my uh, top picks, because it's still linear, it's still extremely story driven, it's still in many ways defies what makes Metroid Metroid, but when I watched a video about how it corrupts the genre's expectations, it, it makes some good and, and interesting points. It, it kind of helps build onto the atmosphere in some sense. I can understand games that are more linear, because this game kind of shows that they can tell a more cohesive story if they're more linear. Although, in my opinion, uh, the, the, way the, the way Metroid Prime did it, and the previous Metroid games did it, could have still been used for that kind of system. Although, I guess if you had access to all the sectors, it wouldn't have worked nearly as well. But anyway, it may not play as much of a, like a Metroid game as the others, but... It's still, it's still really fun. It's still got all the core mechanics of a Metroid game. And it's really cool how the SAX basically has your Super Metroid sprite with you having your own sprite because of the Metroid fusion suit you got going on. But what I'm trying to say is this is a good game. You shouldn't go in and expecting just every other Metroid game. Like I said, it's more linear, it's more story driven. But when all said and done, it's still a very good game in its own right. I would definitely recommend it. Check it out. Good music, good gameplay. What more can you ask for, right? Alright, let's see what kind of ending I got. Hang tight real quick. I'm not even going to bother fast forwarding that because that didn't even take very long, but, you know. Let's see what kind of ending I got. I probably took between four and six hours. No, wait. Between two and four hours. Okay, yeah. I got just enough for her to be helmetless, but not suitless. So yeah, I missed the ball. I missed the mark by 23 minutes. Your rate for collecting items is 32%. That's not terrible, considering I wasn't even really looking for them. See you next mission. And with that, I must say that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around, like the Galactic Federation's corruption, apparently. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.